Lesson 37, we will be finding the product of a whole number and a mixed number using the distributive property. Before we do that, let's do a quick review of the distributive property with numbers that are bigger than 1. So let's do 8 times 14. Remember I could break up 14 into two numbers. I could break it up into 10 and 4. Okay, 10 plus 4 is 14. So we can do 8 times 10 plus, right, because 10 and 4 is 14, 8 times 4, okay, 8 times 10 is 80, plus 8 times 4 is 32. If I added those together, I'd have 112, all right? So if we did our standard algorithm to check, we would see that works. 8 times 4 is 32. Oh, look, there's the first number. 8 times 1 is 80, there's the second number, plus 3 is 112. All right, so the distributive property works with whole numbers. Now we're going to talk about how it works with mixed numbers, okay? Because mixed numbers is really kind of similar to whole numbers. You have two parts, just like you had tens and ones, you're going to have ones and fifths, or ones and fourths, or ones and thirds, all right? You're just going to break that up. So let's get started with our first one. And I want to do two times three and one fifth. So just like I broke up the 14 into 10 and four, I'm going to break up the three and one fifth into three and one fifth. So I have three and one fifth, see it? Three plus one fifth is three and one fifth. Now let's go to multiply. I'm going to multiply both of these numbers times two. So two times three plus two times one fifth. All right? Two times three is six plus two times one fifth. If I did one fifth and one fifth, that'd give me two fifths. So all together, I would have six and two fifths. So two times three and one fifth is six and two fifths. Let's try another one. I have here three times seven and three fourths. Remember, we're gonna break up this mixed number and then multiply by the other number. So seven and three fourths breaks up to seven and three fourths. So I'm going to multiply three times both of those numbers. All right, three times seven plus three times three fourths, All right? Three times seven is 21, plus three times three fourths. If I did three fourths three times, I'd have three fourths, six fourths, nine fourths, because I'm counting by three fourths, all right? So I would get 21 and nine fourths. Now 21 and nine fourths, that's an improper fraction. So I need to change this so I get um, a bigger whole number, all right? So 9 fourths breaks up into 8 fourths and 1 more fourth, right? 8 fourths is equal to 2 and 1 fourth. I need to add that to my 21. So 21 plus 2 and 1 fourth is equal to 23 and 1 fourth. So the final answer here is 23 and 1 fourth. And remember, we had to change our improper fraction into another mixed number and then put them together. All right, let's try one more together and then it will be your turn. Remember, we're gonna break up the whole number in the fraction and then multiply by the other whole number. I have four times six and 55 hundredths. So if I were to break this up, I'd have six and 55 hundredths. I'm going to multiply both of these individually by four. So four times six plus four times 55 hundredths. I know off the top of my head that four times six is 24, but I can't count by 55 four times in my head. I'm just not that good. So I am going to do some quick standard algorithm. Four times five is 20, carry the two, drop the zero. Four times five is 20 plus two is 22. So I have 220 hundredths. 
So if I counted by 55 hundredths four times, or did 55 hundredths plus 55 hundredths plus 55 hundredths plus 55 hundredths, if I did that four times, I'd get 220, all right? So now I need to put these together. So I have 24 and 220 hundredths. But just like the last problem, 220 is bigger than 100. So I need to decompose it. Okay, 220 hundredths. Decompose into 200 hundredths and 20 hundredths. 200 hundredths is the same as saying 2 and 20 hundredths. Add that to 24. So 24 plus 2 is 26. And I have 20 more hundreds. And if you want to put 20 hundreds in simplest form, you're more than welcome to do that. All right, moving on. Now it's your turn. So these are three problems I would like you to solve. Three times six and four fifths, that's your first one. Your second one is three times two and four fifths. Your third one is two times four and seven tenths. Make sure you put those in um, a mixed number if you need to regroup to do that, all right? And we'll see you tomorrow.